Hello guys, welcome back to Gachero Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix the Gotham Knights is having an error code which is known as a Gotham Knight application load error 3000006543 which is happening for many of the users. So we're going to talk about a fix for that. So let's move to the uh, workaround. So what you have to do is you just have to follow the instruction. So let's move to it. So the first thing what you have to do is when you're having this trouble, it is all about you just have to make sure there should be allow the game exe file in any antivirus program. So if you're having any antivirus, for example, like any third party antivirus like fsecure or whatever it may be. In my case, I'm using fsecure. So it is actually a good one. So if you're having any uh, antivirus program, third party one, you just have to allow the game exe file in the antivirus program or else you'll be having the trouble. And also parallelly you have to make sure that uh, you know it should be add the game folder to the extension so I'll show with an example with F secure so if you are having F secure, so if you're having another you can do the same so just follow the instruction or you can use this if you don't have one you can use this this is works really great so the first thing you just have to open the F secure and go over here at the top left click over here and navigate to settings now from here as you can see we are having two options Right now, uh, there is a deep card option and also under deep card, we are a view, uh, turn off deep card temporarily and view, view block it application. So here you just have to click over here. And now, as you can see, this is not added. So you just have to add, I mean, you have to exclude it. So you just have to select the exclude. So just go over, if you click on the block it, so it will be getting blocked. So make sure that you should be clicking on the exclude and just go for add new. So over here, you just have to select where the game is installed. So it depends on your lock list, which one where you have already installed. For example, some users might be installing on any other, but mo most probably people used to install it on C. So you just have to go to the path and you have to install it. I mean, you have to add it. Once you're successfully done with this one, once you added it successfully, it is all good to go. Then even after this, after adding it, just open your Steam and try to launch the game. And that might be working out. But if it's not working for you guys, then you don't have to worry. You just have to go for the next one. Next one in the sense, a parallel step. You just have to turn off deep guard temporarily. So it depends on how long you're playing the game because for some users that work. So I'm saying the same. So you just have to click over here. When you click over here, you will be getting an option like this. Now from here, you just have to select how long you wanted to keep uh, the deep guard off. Say, let's say, for example, by default, if five minutes, so I'll keep it for 30 minutes, maybe, or else I'll keep it for one hour. So if in that scenario, you'll not be getting any kind of restrictions and you're good to go to play the game, just set this up, go for turn off. And once it is being successfully turned it off, just launch the game and try to play it. And that is what you have to do. And most probably this might be working out. But even after trying this, if it's still not working, the next is all about you have to verify the integrity of game files. For that, which is quite usual, you just have to open the Steam, navigate to the library, select the Gotham Nades on your uh, library over here. So you just have to select it and you just have to go to the properties, go over here in the local files. And now as you can see, there is an option called verify integrity of game file. Just click on this one and the game will be uh, having this process. This is really helpful because when they are corrupted or they are having any default corrupted files, they will be fixing from their side. So this is very important and you have to do and even after trying this if it's still not working the next is all about you have to run the game as an administrator and if you don't know how to do this just follow the instruction so you can do two things you can go over here in the search and you can search for the respective game like this okay now uh, you can go to the open file location so in your case you can do the same so this is the shortcut so it's not the same so what you can do is you can go over here or search the game. For example, uh, Minecraft, I'll be searching for Minecraft. So it is not there. So what I'll do is I'll show from here itself. So you just have to go to uh, the game. Okay. And you click, click on the properties, go for local files. And there is an option called uh, browse, right? Just click over here. When you click on the browse, what happens is it will take you where the game is installed. Right now, as you can see, this is where the game is. That is this PC, local to C, program file, Steam, Steam apps, common, Forza Horizon. In my case, I'm not having the game, so I'm showing an example with Forza Horizon. Don't get confused. Now, you just have to select the EXE of the respective game. Just have to uh, select it and right click. 
and you'll be getting an option to rent it as an administrator so just rent the game as an administrator and most probably after running the game as an administrator the issue regarding this that is the load error will be completely fixed on Gotham Knights and we hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye